Hello everyone, in this short video I'm gonna explain to you how to use the um, third-party Sunto Embit Intervals App Generator website to create custom workouts for your Sunto Embit GPS watch. Um, let's say um, the coach has given you a particular interval workout, um, in this example 60 minutes with 12 times 20 seconds strides. I'm just gonna very quickly copy the description I've gotten here. Um, then I will move over to the Sunto Embed Intervals App Generator website. Um, the link to that website will be in the uh, notes to this video. And um, there you have a graphical user interface to create um, your interval workout, and that is very similar to um, <coughs> what the other websites of Prolar and Garmin, for example, offer. So I'll just copy the description to this field here that I know what I'm working on and I can give this workout name here. So I'll just call it 60 minutes with 12 times 20 seconds strides. Um, then I have a couple of settings down here. Uh, I can say what I want to see when the duration is lap. Distance is fine for me. Uh, you can also um, say what you want to see <clears throat> in the um, target field when um, you don't have a particular heart rate or um, pace target and um, you have a couple of options here and let's say just pace is fine in this case. Um, you can use also imperial values here for your forks in the United States. Um, I'm not got, I'm not going to use that because I believe in the superiority of um, metric values. Uh, you have a couple of other section uh, um, options down here. Uh, I think they should be self-explanatory. Uh, and now we're going to create the workout. So uh, I'll just click add step here. And it says in the description here 40 minutes easy. So I'll create a warm-up section, distance, duration, time, 40 minutes. And since I just walk out, uh, sorry, a warm-up, I'm not going to select any target here. Then I will add a repeat for the strides. Uh, we have a repeat of 12. And then I will add the two steps inside these repeats. First one is the actual interval, the strides of a uh, length or duration of 20 seconds. <clears throat> I don't think it's particularly useful to select a, a target um, for these strides, even though they are an interval. Um, if you want, you could select a pace or a heart rate here. Um, then I will add the um, <coughs> recovery period of 40 seconds here. And then that is basically um, the repeat I have to create. Then I can add um, a final step for the cool down. And um, now I have already 40 minutes here, and then I have 12 times one minute. So I'm already at 52 minutes, and then the coach wants me to run 60 minutes in total. Um, what I usually do is I create um, a fixed interval of, let's say, maybe five minutes, and then I add as a final step another cool down uh, with the duration lap so that my run maybe can be a little bit shorter or longer <coughs> um, than the 60 minutes. Um, so um, the interesting thing is now what has this um, third-party website actually uh, done here and how do we link that to um, to our Embit watch. Uh, well, if we scroll down a little bit further here you see actually two fields um, one is called duration app and one is called target app. And uh, what that refers to is two apps which you have needed to create on your moves count um, website. So the embed moves count, moves count um, website. Um, if we go to, oh, sorry, that was wrong here. We want to go to the app designer. Um, you see, you have a couple of my apps here and Somewhere here I have created um, an interval target app and on the next screen here we have an interval duration app. Uh, I will open that up here and 
you only need to create this two apps uh, once, like the first time you want to create um, um, any uh, particular interval. Uh, and the description of what you have to do is actually on the third party um, website, you know, under the how tab, how to. Here is the point create moves count apps. And this gives you all the instructions you need for the interval duration, interval target app. And as I said, you only have to do that once and then um, you're ready to go. So what do you actually do? Um, you go down here to your duration app, click the select button. It will mark the code which is created here for the duration app. You press um, the keyboard shortcut to copy it into the clipboard. Then you go over to the moves count website to your interval duration app, which is now selected here. Click on edit. And you will see there is some code down here. And you see a description here and that is actually for a 75 minute uh, workout with five times 20 strides followed by 30 minutes of tempo and then um, four times 20 seconds strides again. And I will just mark that and override it with um, the code I've just created for the strides. You see it has changed here now. 25. No, sorry, that is actually... That is a little bit weird here. Uh, yeah, okay, that is by going back and forth here on the website it actually created the wrong description and the wrong name. Our steps on here are just still correct. So I just gotta mark that and copy the right description into it again and mark it correctly here. 60 minutes with 20 seconds strides. Then it will have updated the code on here. I'll select that again, copy it to the clipboard move over to the move count app, mark everything here and paste in my new code. And you see also now the description here um, <coughs> matches the description on the um, external website. And that is basically all I have to do here. I can click save. Uh, and then I'll go to the interval target app here, mark that go back to the third-party website, select, copy to the clipboard, click edit here, go down, replace the source code and just save. And yeah, sorry here my internet connection right now is a little bit slow but should have saved it in a second, I hope. Um, maybe in the meantime I can uh, <clears throat> comment on, it maybe looks a little bit complicated right now, but actually in the end, uh, if you've done this process like two or three times, um, it is not really that much slower than, um, uh, okay, something is going wrong here, I just say stay on page. Uh, not sure, not sure that this will work out. Maybe we'll just reload the page, say leave page, and redo these steps. Interval target. Yeah, this was not updated, so. No, oh, sorry. You have to click edit here, replace it, and then I click save and let's hope it saves this time. Yes, I can just, yes, now it has been updated here. So um, back to what I said before, um, it looks a little bit complicated right now, but as soon as you have um, figured out how it works, uh, it is not that much slower than creating a workout, let's say on the Garmin website, um, because um, the basic step is, is just creating the workout here and that works similar to what other manufacturers offer. And then it's just copying over the um, source code for the two apps into the moves count site and then 
we are ready to go. And you might have noticed that there's actually a lot more flexibility here because, for example, contrary to Garmin, um, it's no problem to select intervals here which are less than one minute. Um, so back to moves count. Um, the first time you are using these two apps, you also actually want to add them to your watch. So we go to um, my watch here and um, you want to create a sport mode which uses these two apps. Now obviously I already have a war, um, sport mode which uses it, but let's just for the sake of this tutorial create a new one. So let's just say this is the interval um, mode and it's, it's running. Um, <clears throat> then you can add the different displays here and let's just keep the first one as it is, standard one. You can obviously also change that here, change it to just two or three, whatever you want to do here. Now I'm gonna create a display here for um, my interval and usually uh, I'm using a screen which also uses um, uh, three values uh, and you can just click here and then um, you have the different options what you're going to display and you want to move to my apps here and you want to select um, for example the interval duration app here well, let's actually yeah interval duration is okay then you select the middle point or the, the middle section there there you want to see interval target and then down here you can display whatever you want so for example um, Usually I've created this small little app which shows me the pace of my last 30 seconds. So I will select that and in these bottom fields you can always select several values. Maybe you don't want to have the chronograph, but maybe I also want to see my heart rate. So um, then obviously if you are interested in more values you could add uh, more displays, uh, but we will leave that out. Um, right now. Then down here you see that when you use custom apps it offers you to actually store the data each of the apps is, um, uh, is showing. Um, then in move counts you could actually look at this data afterwards but um, that basically just yeah clocks your, your memory on your watch so um, there's no use in looking at this data afterwards. So you probably want to deselect lock app then you can do all the the typical settings down here um, regarding GPS accuracy and things like that. Um, usually for workouts I want to have auto pause switched off. Um, yeah, you can just set up everything here as you like. And then you just click on save here. And then you want to sync everything to your watch um, by connecting the watch to the computer uh, or I don't know exactly how you do that with the Mbit 3 because I only have an Mbit 2 but I, I guess um, there is a way of <coughs> transferring everything to the watch I guess Bluetooth maybe uh, anyway now we have this um, no where is it is here we have the new interval workout you then want to select that you want to show this sport mode in the exercise menu on the watch. Then the next time you sync your watch to the computer, um, the sport mode will pop up on the exercise menu. You can select it. And then the two apps, the interval target and the interval duration app, will basically guide you through the um, will guide you through um, your workout. Um, just one final point. Um, well, two points actually. Uh, you notice that here on the third-party website you could actually um, select different types from the different um, phases of your workout and abbreviations of these types will actually be shown in the um, duration app. So for example while you're in the warm-up phase um, there will be uh, WU be shown together with the um, time in the duration app and that shows you, okay, this is a, a warm-up phase. Um, then uh, it will shows, uh, show INT if you're in interval. It will show uh, REC if you're in a recovery um, phase. It will show CD in the, in the cooldown on the watch. 
um, so that you're always aware um, what you're actually supposed to do. Uh, and then the final remark is that um, the apps are not able to automatically um, mark laps. So what they do is that they, when uh, you're reaching the end of a particular interval phase or whatever um, step you have created here, um, the watch will beep. Um, you could also actually select that it also should turn on the light for the alarms. And then you have to manually um, press the lap button. Um, I think that basically concludes um, this tutorial. Again, I want to point out it might look a little bit complicated right now, but um, <clears throat> as I said, you only have to create these two apps once, and then each time you create a new interval, you just copy over the source code to these two apps. So that takes maybe an additional 20 seconds or something, and then you have to once create this um, special um, sport mode which actually uses these apps um, and that you're also going to do once and then it just stays forever there and as soon as you um, replace the source code for the two apps uh, and sync your watch again um, the new workout will be on the on the watch and if you have repeating um, workouts which say you do like every second week or something um, you could obviously also create particularly uh, a special app just for this workout and replace them. But um, yeah, the coach is changing the workouts so often um, that they rarely repeat. Um, so I just have these two apps and always change the, the source code. Okay, um, that's it for today. I hope this helps you folks a little bit with the interval app. Um, I hope to be able to do uh, another tutorial on how to use um, apps for slightly more complicated workouts uh, anytime soon. Bye-bye.